Hey there, wine fans. It's Wine Shark with you here again to talk about another Wine Basics video. Today, we're going to be learning about decanters and decanting and the how, why, and when to decant your wine. So uh, stick around at the end of the video. I'll also talk about some of my own personal tips and tricks about decanting and aeration. So decanting, what is it? Uh, decanting is the act of transferring the wine from the bottle to another vessel. Okay. The decanter is a specialty presentation and wine piece of wine service that is used to do this act. Um, decanters come in a wide variety of styles, from very traditional vase-looking decanters to the very wide bell-bottomed captain's decanter to specialty and occasion decanters that look like swans or ducks or all kinds of amazing things. So why do we decant wine? Well, we decant wine primarily for two reasons, sedimentation and aeration. Sedimentation is part of wine's aging process, um, and aging in wine chemistry can cause solid particulates to fall out of solution with the wine as it ages. Um, yeast cells, tartrate crystals, all kinds of things um, that can fall out of solution. This doesn't mean your wine is bad, by the way. Seeing sediment in the bottom of a, of a bottle of wine like that is generally not a bad thing. But they don't affect the taste of the wine, but they don't actually taste good either. So we want to make sure that we don't get those in the glass when we're going to enjoy our wine. Okay, Decanting helps stop that process. Aeration is the other reason. And this is what you may have heard of, the process of letting a wine breathe. Well, aeration is the opening up of aroma compounds and helping them reveal themselves in wine. So if a wine's been trapped in that bottle for anywhere from six months to you know, dozens of years, the first thing it needs is a breath of fresh air. So we want to take that wine, pour it into the new vessel that allows volatile compounds that don't particularly taste or smell good to gas off or evaporate. Um, it allows uh, the aroma compounds to present and it generally improves our presentation and perception of flavor compounds. So aeration is, the, is a very important part and even wines that aren't very old can benefit from aeration. So now I'll demonstrate how we're going to decant. Decanting is simple. Set your decanter on a flat surface and open your wine bottle. Pour the wine into the decanter so that the wine runs down the sides of the decanter, maximizing the flow of wine and air together as you slowly pour the wine out of the bottle. If sediment is an issue, watch the shoulder of the bottle for sedimentation. A light color backdrop helps here, as does extra illumination. Once you start to see sediment gather in the shoulder, stop your pour and set the bottle aside. Now, all you have to do is wait and enjoy your wine when it's ready to drink. All right, so now the question is when and how long should we decant our wine? Well, usually we decant red wine only and often due to age, but even young, bold wines can benefit from some time in the air and for aeration, as I said before. Uh, we usually don't decant white desserts or sparkling styles of wine. We don't decant sparklers, for instance, because it loses their effervescence. We don't decant many, several types of whites because the, arom the aromas might be very fleeting and we don't want to lose them. Although, generally speaking, bolder whites aren't going to suffer uh, from decanting. And there are a few exceptions to every rule. Uh, also, dessert wines also generally don't get decanting. but. The bolder the wine, the longer you want to let that wine stand in the decanter. When it comes to how long we're looking, we're talking about 30 minutes for them on the lighter side of things from, say, Pinot Noir, Zinfandels, things like that. But big, bold, aged red wines, for especially from old world countries, areas uh, like you know Piedmont and Bordeaux and Chateau Neuf de Pop, we're talking about Nebbiolos and big Grenache and Syrah-based wines, big uh, Cabernet wines, they might benefit from anywhere from two to three hours or even longer uh, in a decanter, okay? Just make sure that you're monitoring your temperature there as well so that you can match aeration and temperature presentation at the same time, okay? So Wine Sharks tips. Um, tip number one, skip the marketing nonsense. Skip the Sharper Image and the Sky Mall catalog and the overhyped products that are marketed you at the checkout aisle in your local wine store. The magnets and the Slurpee Venturi things and these blenders and such, see the other awful Wine Shark product. Um, and all that other nonsense, skip it. It's not worth your money because decanters are inexpensive and in a pinch, any glass vessel will do. A simple glass pitcher can be a decanter if you want it to be. And nothing works as well as time does. Now, if you're in a hurry, you can actually decant, take two decanters and pour back and forth, which will kind of accelerate the process a little bit by hyper aeration. Um, I've even heard tell of sticking the wine in a blender, but 
The fact is, just if you know you're going to decant, do the right thing. Put the wine in a vessel and let it sit. Okay. Uh, tip number two. Uh, we want to talk about sticking to the basics. If you're going to have a decanter, make sure your decanter is easy to clean. Okay. Fancy dancy, you know, crazy duck decanters and things like that tend to not get used because they're difficult to get clean and therefore you want to save them for a special occasion. Well, we want to make sure that you use your decanter more often and so stick to the basics, keep it simple. So, in closing, have you uh, tried decanting your wines? Have you done this in the past? Have you had questions about it? Um, do you have a wine gadget that you've either loved or hated that you've run across? Uh, tell us in the comment section below. If you like what we're doing, Click that like button and the bell to get notified of new content and share with a wine-loving friend. If you really like what we're doing, support us over on Patreon. There's exclusive content that's for those Patreon members only, and we would certainly love your support. So, thanks a lot, and the links for the stuff above will be in the description below. We hope to see you again. Until next time, cheers. I'm your wine shark.